displaying data using the ESP32 or are you troubleshooting some issues with the LCD and in case you are trying to interface the LCD with the ESP32 well looks like you are at the right place welcome to electronics simplified so without wasting any more time let's get the things we need we'll be needing the ESP32 which is going to be the heart of our project and I'm using the ESP dev kit 1 all right then I'll be using the display the 16 by 2 LCD display and back of it I have the I squared C module in case you don't have it behind your display prefer using the breadboard and connect it onto your LCD next we'll need some female to female jumper cables again if you're using a breadboard do the connections as you need and I'll be using the USB cable the micro USB cable to upload the code so now let's uh, move on and have a look at the circuit diagram so this is the circuit diagram here you just need four wires in case if you don't have the module you need more but this activity is done with the module so here let's look at the pins I'm going to use I'm not going to use 3.3 and ground here because 3.3 is not enough for the LCD display instead I'll be using V in and ground V in is going to be at 5 volt since I'll be using a laptop to upload my code and let's connect the pins I'm also using V in ground and D21 and D22 for this activity so I'll connect all the female jumper cables first and then start looking at D21 and D22 which are going to be serial data and serial clock so let's have a look at these pins here serial data is going to be D21 and serial clock is D22 now comes V in and ground now I'm using V in because I've already mentioned the reason three point if you're using 3.3 volt by any chance you'll see that the backlit is a little dimmer than the V in and V in is preferably to be used from a computer all right now it's time to upload the code so in order to upload the code I'm going to connect the micro USB cable there you go and let's move on to upload the code now set up the code environment open the Arduino ID go to preferences and go to the additional board manager make sure the link is pasted down here if you don't have it then I have put it in the description just paste it down there then go to tools and look at the board manager go to board and board manager make sure ESP32 is installed now for me it's going to take a while let this thing download here hmm. so yeah search for ESP32 and hit enter in my case I already have it installed you just need to click on install if you don't have it next move on to adding the LCD so go to include libraries and include the zip library that I've provided again in the description and then I think we are all set let's hit upload now once I hit upload it's going to take a while so I'm just going to run this faster hmm looks like I didn't select the com port and I'll do it again and now again it's done hopefully now if you can't get it done I recommend you to watch my errors of uploading on the ESP32 you, there's another whole video on it let's move to troubleshooting now you got to find the correct address using the I squared C scanner code which is then again in the description because some of you might not be able to do it in one go for me it was 0x27 in case some of you might have it like 0x3f or you know it could be anything depends on your model that you are using 
so you just need to make the changes there now even after uploading the code and debugging all the issues you can consider using the you know troubleshooting method that i am using here now for example you can't see anything on your display and it is, the backlight is on then adjust the trim pot behind or else it could be a connection failure so just check the connections again i'm just going to rectify the connections i have done a mistake on purpose in this one so i'll just swap and show you what would actually happen so now if you look at my screen i'll try to focus in okay it's very bright all right you'll see that there is some garbage value and that is not what i had programmed in the code so this means i need to reset my esp32 again so on resetting you might see that your data is being communicated properly so well there you go you can see now it starts counting okay that's the code that i actually flashed onto my arduino i mean onto my esp32 and well it works fine so in case if you liked my video i want you to like share and subscribe and i'll be posting such videos if in case if you had any other problems let me know in the comments and i'll make sure i reply to all your comments thank you for watching